We are going into 2025, which means that we have the new Premiere Pro update coming out. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you some of the coolest new updates coming into Adobe Premiere Pro in 2025. So let's get right into it, starting off with the way you create new projects now. So when you click on new project, instead of having that, you know, whole long process now, you can simply just name it whatever you want. You can choose the location for it, and you can even select one of the project templates that you you can set up for yourself if you want and you can also skip import mode so if you just want to be putting your clips you know straight into the timeline from the media panel then uh, you can click here on skip import mode another thing is if you come here to the settings on the color settings now you can actually click this color manage auto detect log and raw media which means that if you are importing you know either raw media or also log footage into your timeline it can now automatically detect that and also convert it to for example rec 709 so you no longer have to really deal with like you know messing around with your flat profile picture videos which is really really cool now obviously you also have some way bigger updates than this as well starting off with the big biggest one that everybody's talking about, which is generative extend. Now, what this can actually do for you is extend your clips using AI. So for example, if you are editing to music and you find your clip to be just a little too short to make it right on the beat, right? You can actually now extend it using AI. So this is going to come in super handy, especially when editing, for example, like cinematic sequences. So instead of trying to slow it down now, you don't have to actually do that. Let me show you how it works. So as you can see, I have this clip for example of the skateboarder on my timeline and I can just click here on the generative extend tool and I can basically just extend it and drag it out as if I was just you know making it longer and you can see it's uploading it now and then it's actually generating that extra uh, section as well of the video for me basically so at the end we'll have an extra second of AI generated content and from my experience trying this out it actually works pretty damn well so I'm going to show you three examples actually in this video and you will be able to see the before and afters in all these three cases as well um, let me know what you guys think are you going to be using this trying this feature out or not I'm definitely going to implement this in my workflow especially again when editing these segments where I'm trying to edit on the beat and I don't want to necessarily slow down my footage to make it stretch to the point where it needs to be so as you can see now it's generated the new section of the video as well and whichever part is AI generated it will show up uh, like this on your timeline so if I go ahead and scroll over it you can see this is absolutely seamless like my clip ended here this part is completely AI generated and I honestly couldn't tell this even if I was like trying to find uh, the part right same thing here on the second clip I have this person kind of just like working on an iPad uh, the clip only appeared until this part but then after that we have the AI generated uh, section which again is absolutely seamless now looking at our third example as well we have this car driving on the beach and the clip only um, is until this point everything else after this is AI generated and as you can see again it's absolutely flawless I couldn't tell that you know this section is now AI generated so really really happy with how this uh, generative extend feature turned out and I can't wait to start using it you know in my editing workflow now essential graphics is also gone from Premiere Pro so instead of having that now we have a graphics templates and also a separate properties panel as well creating overall just an easier workflow for everyone. The panel also adapts based on the type of content you are editing, whether you are editing video, audio or graphics. Again, it offers you quick access to the relevant tools that you would need in your workflow and it minimizes the amount of time you now need to switch between different menus and panels. And you can also edit multiple clips now simultaneously with the properties panel. And one thing that I think a lot of people are really happy to hear is that you also can now crop right from the properties panel. So as you can see, this is how it looks. Uh, I have multiple clips selected now and I can even crop all of them at the same time here with the simple slider. I can also change the audio um, and I can change the rotation scale and so on. And another one that they came out with as well is they have this fill frame feature now with just a click of a button you can make it fill the entire screen up which can come in super handy especially if you are working with different aspect ratio videos on your timeline at the same time 
Now you might also see that I have this Epidemic Sound plugin here as well in my Premiere Pro. And let me tell you a little bit more about that and what that can do for you. Having the right sound design and music selection can take a mediocre video to a great one and not having it can take a good video to a bad one. So that's where the sponsor of this video, Epidemic Sound, comes into play. I have been using their service for over five years at this point for all my personal projects and client projects as well. And they are the go-to platform for getting all your songs and sound effects from without having to license each and every single one of them individually, which could cost you thousands of dollars. Instead of that, you can just pay a small monthly subscription fee and get everything taken care of for you. They have a huge library of amazing songs and sound effects as well produced by professional musicians and artists and they have some amazing features. Some of my favorites are the stem downloads where you can download each layer of the song individually allowing you full creative freedom. The find similar feature which allows you to find songs similar to the one that you already like and also the AI change duration feature which allows you to resize the length of your song to whatever fits your needs with just the click of a button. So if you want to try it out for yourself, click the link in the description below and you can get started for free. Thank you Epidemic for sponsoring this video and let's get back into the new features. Another big update in Premiere Pro is that now we can actually change the appearance of the software. So you just have to go to your settings, come here to appearance and you have three options to pick between. You have the darkest setting, which is what it's currently on. I quite like this one. We also now have a light mode, which is a uh, pretty damn cool i guess for everybody who loves light mode this is a game changer and then we also have this dark mode which is kind of you know a lighter version of the proper dark mode and uh, you also have this button right here which you can click to change the contrast setting to whatever your eyes prefer right so i'm really glad to see this update coming i think the light mode as well is pretty sick to be honest so i'm going to be definitely using that as well especially midday uh, and then at night you can just switch to the darkest setting. So I'd love to see uh, them finally innovating a little bit and uh, yeah, overall all of them look great. So happy to see that as well in the new update. Now they also came out with some enhanced exporting updates. Now exporting to formats like ProRes is up to three times faster and they have improved hardware acceleration for even H.264 and H.265. And also the direct to social media exporting features have been refined as well. Another pretty big update is that now you can actually translate your captions within Premiere Pro. So this is great if you are creating content for multiple languages, you know, you can just create your captions as you normally would within Premiere Pro and you can translate them and get them translated within Premiere Pro into multiple languages super, super easily. So that's also another amazing update. So overall, these are some of the biggest changes that came to Premiere Pro for 2025. Let me know in the comment section down below which one is your favorite or if I missed out anything important. And I really hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in the next one.